Next thing I get into are my stocks of interest. How many people saw this story? Boeing resumes 737 MAX production. That's huge. That's huge. So finally the air people said it's okay for Boeing. Boeing is probably taking a deep sigh of relief and going, oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is what Boeing is saying. Woo-wee. They're happy. All right. And they're, they're saying to the air people, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, that's going to be good for them. Uh, what else is in here? Ah, oh, this is another one. HBO Max enters the streaming battlefield. All right. Um, through my... Through my cable service, I have HBO, so now I think I get HBO Max automatically. All right, just something else throwing their hats into the streaming field. That's huge. So um, it was launch day. That was on May 27. AT&T's high stakes entry into the stream wars built off of the prestige TV brand it acquired in the Time Warner acquisition. So, man, this is somebody else getting into it, and that primarily is... AT&T, Netflix, Amazon, Comcast, Disney are all part of that. And um, that's in my stream wars. And next one, I talked about airline stocks, right? Airline stocks pull back, but continue to outperform as the TSA traveler put that 707 up. That data keeps improving. I'm telling you, some of these airline stocks may not be bad plays right now. I showed you all my industries, showing you one of the fastest industries by RT were airlines. They're making the news, but the VectorVest software is powerful enough to get you in even with the news, even without the news. So um, that's what's going on with that. And one last one, Nintendo. Why are video game sales surging? A lot of people were home. Now, I want you to keep your, uh, keep your eye on those stocks that are stay-at-home stocks. As people start going back to work, they may get affected. Just keep that in mind. But there's still kids are still at home. So um, this is on Nintendo. This is on Nintendo. Let's take a look at those stocks. These were my stocks of interest. Let's take a look at these stocks. Go back to the viewers tab. And let's go find my date, 528. And here's my stocks of interest, Boeing. Look at where Boeing is towards the bottom. Another one that was part of the story was Spirit Airlines. All right. AT&T. Uh, Jets to look at the, oh man, I hate when that happens. Going Jets to look at all of the global Jets in one ticker symbol and Nintendo. Look at where Nintendo is on my list by uh, VST, the second best stock on the list. Let's right click, view the stock graphs. All right, AT&T. So even with HBO Max, let's go see if we can get the stock out of this level of a channel. It is above the 20-day exponential moving average. It went through one level of resistance, and guess what? Boom, fell back down. Now it's testing it as a level of support. So the news may not altogether be what saves it. Look at the relative timing, right back down at one. Uh, I really want to see not only the stock's price going up, but RT moving up as well. So even though the news about HBO Max is out there, it's still news-driven yet. I've got no confirmation behind the move. Boeing, this is also news-driven, coming off this beautiful level of support above the 20-day exponential moving average. I would really want to see RT go back above one to show me if the stock's in an uptrend. But it is above the 20-day exponential moving average and moving higher. This is also part of that story, Spirit Airlines or Air Systems, like Boeing, except for it's got a little bit of a pullback behind it. Why is it showing me, um, um, not stochastics, Fibonacci's on here, all right? Just be careful with that one. And Jets, this is all of the Jets in one ticker symbol. It's an ETF for Jets, but look at that. Went above, RT went above one, pulled back down, but it is above the 20-day exponential moving average. Remember, this is an industry that's all rock and rolling right now. If I were to buy in it, I just want to make sure I'm buying into a rising day. And the last but not least, Nintendo. Notice that as people start to go back more back to work as the world reopens, watch Nintendo is just going to probably level out. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. 
If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.